Welcome back everyone. Well, I've said for the longest time, nurses run hospitals, secretaries run schools, and when it comes to the organization of a college athletics team or even an entire sports department, your sports information director can make or break you. Tonight, I introduce you to a man who has been a mainstay at UMHB through all of their recent success. His story is quite amazing. A story of love for job, love for family, and an amazing journey back from the brink. Coach, how are you? This is John Walleen, and he's about to begin his 22nd year as Sports Information Director at UMHB. So how did the former Central Texas sports anchor go from this? For Freeman throws it down the field, intercepted by Jefferson Prince at the TOU 41. To a time when the Round Rock native and Baylor graduate couldn't walk or even talk. Really can, and it's amazing how, you know, everybody says that things can change in an instant, and it, it literally does. That instant for John and his family occurred on May the 20th, 2011, when his thumb went numb and he went to urgent care only to be taken immediately to the hospital, where at the age of 41, he suffered a massive stroke. I was back less than 10 minutes when the doctor said, we're going to transport you. I think you're having a stroke. And it turned out I had a massive hemorrhagic stroke and spent the next 43 days in the hospital, was completely paralyzed on the left side for about a week, maybe a little bit more than that, had to learn to walk again, had speech therapy, occupational therapy, and a bit of climb back, but I'm, I'm very blessed to be back doing what I'm doing. It just completely upended anything we were doing. The kids were still little. They didn't understand. It's, um, it's incredible to watch him because he's the most, uh, one of the toughest individuals I've ever been around. And after 43 days in the hospital, when John was finally released, he attacked his rehab with a passion with a desire to get back to being a dad and back to the daily interactions with the coaches and players at UMHB that he loved to be around. They're starting to blur together a little bit more, but a lot of it sticks with me, and that's one of the jokes I've made. You know, I have trouble, I have to stop and think about how old my children are, but I can remember how many yards or how many touchdowns Marquise Miller ran for to set the conference record a couple of years ago. He never once felt sorry for himself. It was always, what, this is, what is it doing to my family? What is it doing to my coworkers? What is it doing to this big picture and this, this family and, and homestead that we had created? John has been there with the stats for 42 American Southwest Conference Championships and 12 programs that have advanced to the national tournament. There have been four team and two individual national titles, and he was ASC SID of the year in 2010 and was the 2018 National Champion Sports Information director in Division Three football. He's also grown his own department, which is even more efficient than ever. My family is still here. My parents are still living. They live just down the road. My sister actually works at Mary Harden Baylor now, too. I enjoy what I do. I get up every day. I've never once dreaded going to work. I've never once got up and think, oh, no, this is what I have to do today. I think this is what I get to do today. I, I can't say enough of how much I respect him and the things that he does for all of us. We do. We do have a happy ending. He was able to come out of it, and I tell you, you know, it's, it's amazing what one's own determination can do, and that's probably the biggest thing that I have been the most proud of. Now, even during our interview, John was reluctant to talk about himself. He was so proud of his college-age children, Jacob and Brooke, and of course, any stat or athlete I tossed out, he was right on with a quick answer or a total recall. I'd say that he hasn't lost a step, and his doctors say his prognosis moving forward looks terrific. After all, it's been nine years now since that stroke, and John hasn't missed a beat. And the teen years at UMHB, if you've been paying attention, for their sports department has been massively successful. Keep it going, John. You've been doing great.